You might be wondering if Excel or pricing software is right for your business. In this video, I'm gonna go through five criteria that you can use to judge if Excel or pricing software is right for you. My name is Gabriel Smith. I'm the Chief Evangelist for Price Effects. I have about 15 years of experience in the pricing software industry and about eight years before that as a consultant and practitioner of pricing and CPQ. So let's go through those five criteria. First criteria is cost. Now Microsoft Excel is going to be readily available and free for anyone that already has a Microsoft you know, 365 license. So there's not gonna be a lot of incremental cost to your business for that. Now pricing software on the other hand is going to carry a significant cost with uh, implementing and configuring it to your needs. We have an article available on that that you can find in our knowledge base. So the winner in the cost category has to be Excel. The second criteria is automation. While Excel is a very flexible and can be a very powerful tool, it does not allow for a lot of automation of data flows, business processes, workflow, alerting, etc. So in terms of the head-to-head -head comparison, we're gonna have to give this one to pricing software. The third criteria is pricing insight. So let's first look at Excel. I can certainly get a lot of data into Excel, but I'm probably not going to be able to have something that's very contextual to my quote, whereas a pricing software solution that has all of that data already available in it can then present that information in a very relevant and contextual way because we've thought through the best way to consume that information for a salesperson or a pricing analyst. And it can also be very contextual to that specific deal. The pricing insights that we allow for in pricing software also uh, can be embedded really in any of the business processes that are enabled. So while Excel is very flexible and it can you can do a lot there from an analytics perspective, the amount of insight that you can gain because it's not tied into those business processes and also requires a lot of data massaging and manipulation up front and is not tied into the outbound side of pricing, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit later, that's where you're not gonna quite be able to get as much pricing insight out of Excel most likely as you can with a pricing software solution. So for this category, we're gonna have to give it to pricing software. The fourth criteria is which of these makes it easier for me to understand and justify pricing. Now, Excel, if you are an Excel jockey, you can go into any Excel sheet and really understand all of the formulas and lookups and pivot tables and things that are going on. If it's tied into an access database, then it gets a little bit more technical, but you have to really be quite deep on the understanding of these things. When you look at some of these pricing spreadsheets, not a lot of people in the organization usually understand what goes into them. If you compare that with pricing software, uh, we take a very clear box approach in terms of how we develop our algorithms and there's a documented flow and a documented set, uh, set of calculations that are going on. So generally there's a better understanding of how prices are being determined. And also we can embed some of these insights that we talked about before in to help justify and help people understand how we calculate those pricing. So taking a very clear box approach and, and having it clearly documented and having the analytics kind of in part as part of the business process generally makes it easier to understand and justify the pricing that's coming out of the solution. So for this criteria, we're gonna to have to also give it to pricing software. The fifth criteria is really around scale. Who can calculate the most price points? Now, when we look at Excel, once you get to a certain scale where you're needing to do the types of analysis on over 1 million rows of data, or generate you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of price points, that's where Excel starts to fall down. So on the other hand, pricing software is built to be scalable and goes up into you know, billions, hundreds of millions of, of records and, and price point calculations. So it's much more scalable, especially for a large enterprise. So for this criteria, we're gonna have to give it to pricing software. So we went through five criteria, and as you can see, pricing software came on, on top of four of them. Now, if you don't need a lot of scale, you don't need the kind of insights, you don't need you know, some of the things that we talked about pricing software being good at, Excel might be the right solution for you. But if you have some of these challenges around scale, automation, insights, being able to justify the pricing and share that with larger parts of the organization, then pricing software might be the right choice. For more information, visit our learning center where you can find an article called Excel versus pricing software five reasons switching could benefit your business. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this content valuable, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much and happy pricing.